Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Joining us now is a very special guest, one of our health news partners, our only health news partner actually, Dr. Marsha Schaefer. And we have asked you here because you've got all kinds of wonderful health news that you're going to be sharing <laughs> with us over the next several months. But um, first, for folks who didn't catch you on your last segment, just give us a little brief recap on what you do over at Spring Creek Family Chiropractic. Uh, well, I work, my main focus is fertility. So I'm, I'm trained with, with pregnancy and infants, but I also have a really strong nutrition foundation based on my own health challenges. And so I help a lot of people with nutrition as well as chiropractic care. Very good. And you guys really focus on health as a whole. Right. And so important. That's what was so fascinating about having you on last time is, you know, I just really learned um, how, how involved, um, you know, you guys are with, as far as total health. And I was very impressed with all of that and very fun to chat with you. But um, one thing that you're going to talk to us a little bit about today is juicing. Right. So mm -hmm. talk to us a little bit about this craze that seems mm -hmm. to be picking up and, you know, kind of what the background is, if you would. Right. So in the 1920s, Dr. Max Gerson actually started this program that he had a vegetarian diet and raw food juicing, and he was working on regaining his health. And he called it the Gerson therapy. That's actually the same therapy I used when I was diagnosed with cancer, one of the main aspects of the treatment that I chose. Uh, in the 30s, Dr. Norman Walker uh, wrote a raw food juicing book. And the Norwalk juicer, which is our number one juicer in America, uh, was, was created then. And 70s and 80s came, Jay Cordich, Jack LaLanne, the people that most people know when this craze hit. Uh, so it's been, juicing has been around for a long time and people love it. Very good. And um, what are some of the health benefits? Why do you suggest that somebody starts juicing if they haven't tried it yet? They're watching at home, they're looking to get into it. What's in it for them? Well, a lot of people notice when they start juicing, they're going to have more energy, they're going to be sleeping better, their skin's clear. It's pretty crazy that we've got a major digestive problem in the United States. I think that's fair to say that a lot of people suffer from digestive disorders and things like acid reflux and th that's mostly caused by too little stomach acid, not too much. So juicing is a great way to get that digestion working and while juicing isn't curing anything, it's helping the body be the healthiest it can be. Very good. And uh, you have like a contest or something right. going on on your website, right? Tell right. us a little about that. We're actually giving away a juicer this month. And you don't have to be a practice member. You don't have to be part of Spring Creek Family Chiropractic. But if you come to classes, we are having a juicing class actually in, uh, in Lodi. So um, we'll be giving away a juicer at the end of the month. Very good. So you can check out your website and find yes. out how you can win that juicer and attend all these great classes. Right. So tell me a little bit about the difference between juicing and blending. So lots of people have a blender and, and use that right. for different things. So what's the difference? Are there any health differences there? So juicing basically removes all the pulp. You're going to have all the pulp that's a side of, side of the juice and then blending has the entire food. So all the fiber is in there. A lot of people say, you know, I need the fiber, I have to have the fiber. Uh, but there's a, there's a significant difference because if your digestion is off, the smoothies might make you feel bloated, might make you feel not so good, uh, or blending might, might not break down that fiber properly, but juicing has the enzymes and the, benefits, the beneficial uh, vitamins and minerals and all that stuff, so it's absorbed right away. Okay, very interesting. And let's talk a little bit about blood sugar levels really right. quick. So when you're consuming more juice, you're obviously consuming more sugar, so there's some concern there. So tell me a little bit about your take on that. A lot of people have come to me with that concern. They feel that it's going to spike their blood sugar. They felt that they had to have that fiber. That's what their doctors have said and other health people have said, you know, you have to have that. However, they've actually found when they start juicing, they're regulating much, much better. And that is, again, because of your enzymes and your minerals and your vitamins, real living food is what the body needs. It, that's your building blocks for everything. So, um, you know, even vegetables have 15 to 20 percent of their calories are going to be protein. So your body actually is taking in plant protein instead of your animal-based proteins. And it's really helpful. Very good. And so folks who are at home that want to get started juicing, right. what do you think is the best way for them to get started? Any tips? Well, one thing you could definitely do, you could try some, try some fresh juice from some of the Madison area places, but start with things like carrot. Uh, I've, got, I've got a son who's going to be four um, this fall, and he adores carrot juice. It's really, really sweet. And one thing that people really notice when they start juicing is their palate changes. They don't crave the sugar, they don't crave the refined carbohydrates because they're actually craving healthier food, which is awesome but kind of crazy. Um, but the best thing is to start with vegetables that you like because likely you're going to like them juiced too. So um, there are some that are more gentle on the stomach, but 
there's carrot is a really really good start very good and um, you know that's very true what the, you say about you know starting to crave those foods then I found that so interesting you know when you start eating certain things and all of a sudden your body starts wanting those <laughs> things and that's what's so important about trying to turn your health around right. but that's why we have you on because <laughs> you always give us great tips great health tips and if you want Dr. Marsha Schaefer to give you some great health tips you can give her a call at Spring Creek Family Chiropractic and we'll have you on again next month awesome. to get some more great facts from you so thanks so much for joining us Thank you guys for tuning in. We've got more Talk of the Town coming up right after this.